got it, you got it, yeah, yeah, you got it like that. You got it, you got it, yeah, yeah, you got it like. There's so much to unpack on leg two of the signature Triple Crown. I got you! <laughs> like, who did Captain Lance get? And what's going viral online? That was really, really cool to see. Oh, also, which birds are best for your family and friends? Plus, lots and lots and lots of marlin. I took my daughter practice fishing and we saw 11 blue marlin that day and one of them, the thing went crazy and before I could get away with it, it was into the side of the boat. Ain't nothing gonna hold you back. Wow. He hit the dredge reel side. Luckily we had it tied off and we didn't lose it, but it was uh it was crazy. Ain't nothing gonna hold you back. <laughs> and War Party has a splash party after their success in leg one. After five years, we finally won the day things seem to be falling back into place. Everything is kind of getting back to normal over here. You know, COVID's kind of not a thing anymore. People are, you know, going fishing every day. A lot of people are coming here. It's really special to see everything coming back together. Los Sueños is as popular as ever, even with the orcas. You got it, you got it, yeah, yeah, you got it like that. Oh, yeah. You got it, yeah, yeah, you got it like. You know, there's about four of them, two moms and a little, uh, two cubs, little babies. And uh, yeah, it was really, really cool to see. Oh my God, this is insane. Yeah, yeah, you got it like. <laughs> my name's Jackie and I'm on 8 And one thing you should never do on a boat is argue with your captain, even if it's your fiance. When you got it like. <laughs> the one thing you never do on a boat is plug up the only head. Never wipe twice. Put a hole in it. Bring bananas on there, right. Uh, slam a hatch. The one thing you shouldn't do on a boat is have a bad time. Always have a good time. And you got it like that. Well, even if it's the ride home, you shouldn't fall asleep. Especially if Captain Lance is anywhere near you. I got you! <laughs> Don't fall asleep on my bridge. Luckily, the photos he captured of me were innocent enough. However, I'm not sure what's on his camera. We'll never know what's on his camera, but we do know what's on his lines in the second leg of the ladies only. I hope that everybody that we get, the ladies can stay buttoned up with, and that at the end of the day, we're gonna come out on top, whether we're in first or last, because we go at it this with our best, and we have fun to the fullest. That's the main thing. Not hard to have a good time when shortly after lines in, Joni hooks up on Vaquero's first of three marlins on the day. Lit up blue and yeah. it was great. 805. Couldn't ask for a better performance for my girls and my crew. I'm super pumped for them and our boat. Thank you guys. <laughs> so we got the first fish of the day and then Donna's over here on the left flat and what happened? It was on. I hooked up a marlin on a little rod. Donna manages to tickle up the team's second marlin. And then the captain picked up and moved, and as soon as we moved, another piece snuck up on me. We're <laughs> Their screams are only outdone by Team DAC. They made the biggest move on the day with an unmatched four for four marlin. Four fish, 100%. Actually, six fish in two days, 100% for our girls. Great team, great team. Bonico has to find the fish for us, and he put us on him. Thirteen total marlin were released in the leg. DAC had the best day with 2,000 points. I tell you 
you what, the DAC program is amazing. And one of my favorite things is that we don't listen to the radio all day. We focus on having fun. When we turned that radio on at the end of the day as we were cranking in those baits and they said DAC first place, I'm pretty sure three for six cried. It was just insane. <laughs> You get really excited and emotional about it because you look at the competition that we're fishing against and it's like, my gosh, we, we caught better than who today? The leaderboard for the overall tournament narrows to six teams all within one fish. DAC moves into fifth place, but Uno Mas has another strong leg, commanding a 900 point lead. We're very excited with the results we got so far. Our captain, really, he's always find a way to find the fish. They're catching the fish they see and they got very excited and it was a great day. Hope they keep up the pace. As the teams make their way back to Los Sueños, the sun gives way to a spectacular Costa Rican night sky. Seen in the moments leading to the second leg of the Triple Crown. It's going to take a lot of effort and a lot of luck, man. It's really slow sail fishing, so it's going to take some marlins. Marlin, marlin, marlin. They're out there, and that is going to be the key. But you never know. They, they, they always seem to surprise you around here. We're back here for leg two, day one, here on the Mamacita. We're starting from the bottom, and there's only one way to go. Good morning. I'm Alex Hausman. I'll be your tower guy this morning. Yeah. Fun is the number one priority, other than catching fish, of course. Everyone's in the same boat for lines out. The fortunate teams find the marlin. We thought it was gonna be a marlin day, and it was. Got a blue early, got another one early, had two blues in, had a great day, three sails, had a blue come up on the right teaser late in the day, would not bite. Oh my goodness, that would have been the one, but hey, we had a blast. Great day. Grand Slam eases into second place to start the leg. Fishing was good, it's kind of slow for the fleet, but we, uh, we saw three or four marlin, had three bites and caught two and uh, picked away at a few sails. Get the bites that you get and make them count. Team 8-8s got bites early and often. When you get a blue marlin in the first five minutes, you know that it's going to be a great day, and it turned out to be a great day. The team caught an even three marlin and three sails for first place. Coming at you. Love, love, love my captain. We got a great team going on right now, so I feel pretty damn good. I love my girls and dig this team because it's exceptional. Rage and Cajun and Team Galati round out the top five as the tournament rolls toward day two. But there's one last note on day one action. So apparently down at Pescadora, the boys made a bet that if we would win the daily this leg, all of them would shave their heads. So stay tuned for Saturday night. No bad days! No bad days! Shortly, it'll be no bad hair days. But for now, the only people making the cut are the best observers and the saltiest mates. Would you like to come ride on our boat today and fall asleep? Yeah, the fishing's like really slow. A lot could happen. Team Galati made a lot happen on day one, catching the most fish with 12 sails. We got very fortunate. We just kept doing what we do and we had a dredge reel break. We had to pick up and move. If the Eagles won the Super Bowl, I would have never done it. <laughs> now we have to get lucky and get that blue marlin bike today, and hopefully we'll be something by the end of the day. Everyone is hopeful on moving day. 
We're rolling into day two now and we're hoping we can uh, make some happen. Try to be consistent throughout the three days and see where that puts us. To be here is um, very special. Team Sugary, ready to catch some blues. This is my fish finder right here, my son. I'm so proud of him. Uh, good luck today. Thank you so much. Team Sugary managed six sails on the day, but no matter the tactic, the Blue Marlin kept their distance. Today was a grind, just had a few bites and caught all but one, so tough fishing, but just gotta make the most of it. The Grand Slam swivel technique seems to have a little more play. They caught a Marlin and four sails to stay in striking distance of the lead. It's a different story on Team Cabana. They made a charge at the leaderboard with an early marlin bite. Today, our first fish of the day was a blue. Pretty exciting bite. And then we were able to catch six more sails throughout the day. Every once in a while we get lucky. We had a great day, everybody worked hard. A lot of fun. Hey, I gotta tell you, we have the, the best captain and crew. Oh, my. Can't thank them enough. They are amazing. Team 8-8s collects eight sails to hold on to a slim lead. We held our own. I love fishing with Jill. She always says no bad days, and she means that. And, it, and it's truly our experience on this boat, and um, I'm just happy to be here. Thank you. <laughs> At the end of day two, the top three teams all have three marlins, but there are another 40 boats on their tail. And fourth place team DAC has been red hot. I mean, it's the first time we've ever been in the top five. We know we gotta catch one, two, maybe three blue marlins. We've had two good days and we're gonna hope we can put together a third one. In yet another breathtaking scene, the fleet descends upon Herradura Bay, and no morning would be complete without the always welcoming family and friends making their way to another picture-perfect day. Now my theory on family and friends is money will come and go, but family and friends will always be there. Family's everything, most important. We named the boat Family and Friends. It's actually Kevin's choice to name it Family and Friends because lots of times we go to church and you always hear Family and Friends. It's 8 o'clock, 8 o'clock, live in, live in. You're always looking for someone that would fish the ladies only with me and, and I met Beatrice through um, the Friends and we just hit it off. She's super sweet. We have a lot of things in common, we found out, so it's fun. I actually decided not to just have her do ladies only with me. I started inviting her to do the Triple Crown with us as well because she fishes well with our family and that's what it's about, family and friends. Well, I checked my app this morning and I said the fish bite's gonna be good this afternoon. That app is oftentimes like the weatherman, so there's no guarantee, but we're gonna hope it's right today. I'm lucky to have a wife that likes to go fishing because we've fished all through the years, whether it's bass fishing, Bluegill fishing, cat fishing, we've had a lot of fun all through the years. Jackie's really good at hooking the fish, and bringing them in. I've heard so many people on the boat comment on her skills and she's always beat me. Um, the guy at the gate, 
to the condominium, says I should ride in the back seat and hold my head down. Our team is always different. We can't always get away at the same time because we are in a family business together. So the kids will take turns. So it's kind of a rotation thing. Farming and turkey business is from back in the 30s. My grandma and grandpa were migrant workers and then they would move each year back and forth and follow the crops. We have cattle and turkeys and corn and soybean on our farms. And now it's my four children are running the business. All family's everything to us. We have always done everything with our family, always. Kev and I are married 45 years now. We have four children, they're all married. We are blessed with nine grandchildren and we work hard together and we play hard together. And we all have the same interests and we just enjoy each other's company even though we all work together. At the end of the day we come home and we're still family and we're still friends. I just know that during our marriage we all tried to do things together. When I first came here it was because of magazine articles saying how many fish it would catch a day and stuff. And so I came down and tried it and liked it. I'm glad to be married to a top lady angler. I'm thankful she likes fishing. We've held together and the family's better with us all having fun together too. Las Suenas is our favorite place to come. It just feels like home. It's beautiful, our boat's close. We can just hop in the golf cart and we're there in five minutes. Um, the fishing is always good and the people are very, very nice and helpful here. I couldn't imagine going anywhere else and being more at peace and happy than right here in Los Sueños. On the final day, Calm seas are disrupted by a few choice marlin bites. I guess we're just continuing it up in the lady. <laughs> it's just a wonderful feeling, and I'm so happy for all our guys all our team, our crew. This place has been great to us. To finally do it today, it makes us feel really good. Thank you to Ashley and the Los Angeles team. Thanks to my guys for grinding out for, for three days. Those were tough 24 hours for, for everybody here. So great job. And I think all of us are going to stick around for the haircuts later. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go, 8 -8. This has been surreal for us. The last three days have been amazing. These guys are in, in the run for the series, so I'm excited to come back and help them out do it. <laughs> <laughs>